Rahmatullahi Barakatuh. My dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Today we'll talk about lesson two in unit one. Lesson two is called graphic representation of moving in a straight line, or how to represent or how to make a graph to describe the moving of object in a straight line. In the previous lesson, lesson we talked about the motion and the factors affecting motion and we talk about the speed and today in our lesson inshallah we will see how to make a graph to describe the motion of object firstly we need to ask ourselves a question why physicists or the scientists of physics use graphs and tables to describe the results or to To show the relation between different things now we will see the reasons firstly to predict the relation between certain physical quantities what's meant by to predict the relation between certain physical quantities it means a new scientist need to know or need to find what is the relation between different things like um, distance and time, speed and time, and or mass or weight, and so on? By find if those physical quantities increase together or decrease together, or when one physical quantity of them, uh, the distance, for example, increase, the time will decrease. And so on. Number two, to understand practical results. When they make an experiment and they collect the result from the experiment and the information, they need to make a graph or table to describe what happened in these experiments. When we make the result of an experiment in the form of table or graph, that will make it easy to know what happens uh, during the time of the experiment and during the many times of uh, repeating the experiment to see what will happen in the results if it will uh, change or still the same or what will happen number three describe the physical phenomena in an easier way when i want to say that when the mass of object increase the weight of the object also increases if i make that in the form of table or, or graph it will be so easy to describe it to anyone when he see the graph or the table he will know that when the mass increases the weight increases with the two for those three reasons Scientists of physics use graphs and tables in their work to make it easy and understandable and so on. Let's see some graphs that represent the body with regular speed. Let's remember together what's meant by regular speed. We said that the speed has two types which are regular speed and irregular speed regular speed it means uniform speed what is meant by regular or uniform speed it means that the body covers equal distances at equal periods of time when we represent this relation in a graph what will happen this relation between distance and time the relation between distance and time for a body move with uniform or regular speed it is represented by a straight line passing through the origin as we can see here the line starting from the origin and goes upward what will happen if we 
make the relation between speed and time also for a body moves with uniform speed in this case the body with regular speed its speed or the v value doesn't change when a car moves with regular speed 100 km per hour so every one hour in the first hour in the second hour in the third in the fourth and so on during the whole trip the speed of the car doesn't change from 100 so when we draw a graph for a relation between speed and time the relation is a straight line parallel to the time axis so when the relation between distance and time it is a straight line passing through the origin but when the relation is between speed and time the, re the line is a straight line parallel to the time axis both graphs represent the body moves with uniform or regular speed let's see what will be the graph when the body moves with a regular speed as we said before when the body move with non-uniform or irregular speed the body covers unequal distances at equal periods of time or equal distances at unequal periods of time so the graph of a body moves with non-uniform speed is curved line or zigzag line starts from the origin two let's see the last graph with us the last graph represent a body moves with zero velocity or zero speed or the body at rest so it doesn't move when the body doesn't move the time passes while the distance is still the same again when the body at rest or doesn't move the graph is a straight line passing through sorry a straight line parallel to the time axis so it looks like the graph that we have studied before when the body move with regular speed but when the body move with regular speed let's remember together when the body move with regular speed the relation is between v and t and it is a straight line parallel to the time axis but when the body at rest the graph is also a straight line parallel to the time axis but this graph is between two physical quantities which are distance and time and now let's talk about a new physical quantity which is called acceleration what is meant by acceleration firstly we need to know the definition or the meaning of acceleration acceleration is the change of speed of object in one second in a specific direction what's meant by change in speed it means that when we start moving our speed is zero we move from rest our speed is zero then we increase the speed its speed will be 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 and so on so our speed decreases so the change in speed means that our speed changes between the final speed and the initial speed initial speed is the starting speed or the speed at the beginning and the final speed is the last speed that we have reached 
change in speed of object in one second is called acceleration or in other meaning the rate of change of speed and how the speed changes during the motion let's see the rule or the law of acceleration acceleration takes the symbol a acceleration means the change in speed divided by change in time change in speed we give it a symbol delta v this triangle is called delta and it means a change okay so acceleration the symbol a is the change in speed and its symbol is delta v divided by change in time and takes a symbol delta t because it's also a change we can replace change in speed with final speed minus initial speed final speed is the last speed that we have reached and the initial speed is the starting speed we give final speed symbol v1 v2 and the initial speed the starting speed is v1 divided by the change in time before we go to the another slide if the acceleration equals speed divided by time or a change in speed divided by change in time the unit of speed is meter per second and the time is second so what will be the unit of the acceleration let's see together the unit of acceleration is meter per second square or kilometer per hour square it is meter per second square when the speed with meter per second and the time was second and it is kilometer for hour um, kilometer per hour square when the speed is kilometer per hour and the time is hour if the body speed increases by time it means that the initial speed is smaller than the final speed so it is called acceleration but if the object speed decreases by time so it's called deceleration or decelerating motion and in this case speed in decreases it means that the final speed is less than the initial speed what's meant by uniform acceleration uniform means regular as we have studied before Uniform acceleration means the change in the object speed by equal values at equal periods of time. When I'm in a car and the speed of the car increases or decreases. Let's see when the speed increases, how we can describe uniform acceleration. When the speed of the car before moving is zero, then after the first second, the speed will be 10 uh, kilometer per hour and then the second second it is 20 kilometer per hour and in the third second it is 30 kilometer per hour so each one second the speed of the car increases with 10 kilometer per hour so the change in speed in this case is equal or by equal values at equal periods of time and now let's talk about the types of uniform acceleration the first type is positive acceleration positive acceleration it is an acceleration by which an object moves in a straight line when its speed increases by equal values through equal periods of time it means that when the final speed is bigger than the initial speed or when v2 is bigger than v1 the second 
the second type is negative acceleration the same definition except for the word decreases so we replace increases in positive with decreases in negative so let's read the whole definition negative acceleration it is an acceleration by which an object moves in a straight line when its speed decreases by equal values through equal periods of time in this case the final speed is smaller than the initial speed or v2 is smaller than v1 so it's increasing acceleration or accelerating body when v2 which is the final speed is bigger than v1 which is the initial speed and it is a decreasing acceleration or decelerating body when v1 which is the initial speed is bigger than v2 which is the final speed what will happen if the final speed and the initial speed are equal it means that the body move with uniform speed when that happens the acceleration will equal zero why it is equal zero because the rule said that acceleration equal v final minus v initial divided by change in time when the v2 and v1 are equal so v2 minus v1 equals zero so the acceleration will equal zero let's see the graph when the body moves with uniform speed and zero acceleration the relation between speed and time and it is a straight line parallel to the time axis when the body move with uniform acceleration or increasing acceleration it is a relation between speed and time and it is a straight line passing through the origin it looks like the graph when the body moves with regular speed but in that axis we add speed in a state of distance so the graph of the body when it moves with regular speed looks like the graph when the body moves with uniform acceleration except for this axis in case of regular speed is distance and in case of uniform acceleration increasing acceleration is the speed let's see the graph when the body move with decreasing acceleration there's a straight line but it is the opposite to that line because the v value decreases when the time passes by ending this part we come to the end of our lesson thank you so much and hope you enjoy our lesson today thank you